hey beauties what's up welcome back to my channel and thank you for stepping back into lee's world so y'all today i'm gonna be doing something for the very first time now typically when i try new protective styles or new methods of doing something with my hair i usually don't film it because i'm like i'm not about to look stupid on camera but i figured today like let's just do it let's just let's just you know give some transparency today okay so today i'm going to sh be stretching my hair using a heatless method so i want to get some volume in this protective style that i'm going to try and i want to really get some stretch and longevity with my hair rather than it being freshly washed or damp i'm going to try to get this blowout look heatless <laughs> so if you guys are interested just Keep on watching. My hair is freshly shampooed, deep conditioned, and it has leave-in in it right now. So um, I did all that last night and I left the leave-in on and I slept with like a uh, t-shirt over my head. So my hair, my hair is basically dry now. My roots are a little damp, but that's okay. I think I want my roots to be damp because I don't want my hair to be like dry, dry, but I don't want it to be like wet either because that would take away from the point of stretching my hair my hair wouldn't stretch the shrinkage would be popping so my roots are damp but like my strands are dry but they feel moisturized because of the leave-in that i used i used a new leave-in too <laughs> but we won't get into that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna part my hair at my ear All right, so I'm gonna section this back half into two halves. So straight down the middle like this. So my hair is on the thicker side. So what I'm thinking is I need to do more sections than normal people. Um, so I'm gonna start with this one half first. So what I mean by that is I've seen people do this method and they do two halves. I don't think that's going to work for my hair because my hair is like thick and there's still, like I said, a lot of moisture in my roots. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to do either three or four sections to this one large section. Now, I, I do know that the more sections that you do um, in this heatless method, the more longevity you'll get so that's actually a good thing for me with having thick hair i'll have more length but i need to do them so the moisture in my roots doesn't take over the stretch if that makes sense so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to part this i'm gonna say three and if i think i need four then we'll do four but I don't think I need four. So this is two. I'm gonna get this out the way for a second. And this is three. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do four, wow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back up and I'm gonna just do these two and then I'm gonna do those two. And we'll see how this works. So I'm gonna take my dimming brush and I'm going to detangle my hair. Now, as a natural, you should never detangle your hair on dry hair. But if you must, go slow as possible so you don't break off your hair. A stretch look is not worth the breakage. Trust me, sis. So literally just start from the ends and go slow. You ain't in a rush. It's quarantine. You ain't going a dang place. Okay. <laughs> So literally just slow it down, slow it down. <laughs>
So now my hair is detangled. So I'm gonna go in and make three little parts to get my braid going. And literally, sis, I'm just gonna do a braid. And I don't want it to be, I want it to be like, uh, I don't know how to describe this. So I don't want it to be tight because that moisture is still in my roots might take over but I don't want it to be like loose either because that'll take away from the point of the stretch so you want it to be like a medium tightness <laughs> if that makes sense I just like I ain't making no type of sense at all to y'all so that is my first little braid and we got some we got some stretch we got some stretch. Okay. My hair long. My hair real long. Alright y'all, so section number one is done. I think I'm looking lengthy. I'm looking lengthy. Four was definitely the way to go. I was thinking while I was doing the four, like, oh, should I have done three? Like, was four too much? But no, like, for the thickness of my hair, the density of my, my hair strength, definitely four was a good number. All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish the entirety of my head and then I'll come back, show y'all what it's looking like, and we're going to decide from there if we got to redo. <laughs> Pray to God we don't, but we're going to see. All right, you guys, so I'm, like, basically done. I have, like, three braids. I section them off with the clips. So I have three braids to finish. And as I was about to brush out one of these sections, I was just like, let me just take down one braid that the root has officially dried. It's not damp anymore. And let me just see if like I really like need to redo these or if like I got all the stretch that I need. You guys, I redid it and I got more stretch. So now I'm like, I want to say bad words <laughs> like, I'm like okay it's stretched but like it could get more stretched so like okay let me show y'all let me show y'all so this is the one that I redid and then this is the one that we dry that I didn't redo so it's not like a big difference but like this one's here and this one's here so like you know like it's like an inch maybe you know like yeah like like an inch so i'm like redo it or all right y'all so i contemplated i phoned a friend <laughs> i think that that's not that much of a difference so i think i'm gonna just leave it so next time i know that my roots need to be like a little more on the drier side like not like they were damp they weren't like soaking wet they were damp but like, I think definitely a little less damp next time. So that's a lesson learned. Like it's still not turning out bad, but just a lesson learned for next time. But let me go ahead and finish the rest of these. So here it is. So I did six sections all together. I did two in the back, two in the middle, like the crown of my head. And then I did um, two in the very front. And then I did four like, braids per section so all together was that like 24 braids so kind of sounds like a lot but i think my hair is gonna get the stretch that it needs so i'm gonna let these set um uh, maybe i don't even know i don't know how long i'm about to like cook something so i don't even know how long but um i'm gonna let these set for a minute and then i'll be back to do the takedown and the reveal all right so i let these set for about an hour Maybe a little bit over an hour. Not like an hour, hour and a half. And now I'm going to go ahead and take them out. I'm going to start with how I started braiding them. So I'm going to start in the back with this section here. And let's just hope that we got a good stretch. Because uh, I'm trying to have this. I just want it to pop. I just want my hair to pop. You know? That's it. Alright, so I actually just thought about something really quick. I am going to be doing a protective style as I keep talking about. 
I want to go ahead and prep that style but also kind of like stretch this a little bit more. I'm going to add this pomade to my hair and brush it out so like add some moisture and some shine prep for my protective style give it a little more stretch it helps because it doesn't break it's not gonna break off because i keep brushing it it's adding moisture on top and if you guys are interested this is the eden body works um papaya castro line conditioning hair dress so it's kind of like a i'll open it it's like a um it's a pomade that's all i can really say it's 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 not water-based at all. Obviously, we don't want to use that because we don't want our hair to revert at this point. But um, it's a good, like, thick pomade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that. I took down two braids, so let me I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little bit, to my hair. All right, and then I'm gonna take my easy detangling brush, um, looks like this, and I'm just going to clean it out a little bit. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of detangle and brush that through a little bit more. So I like this brush because it has like the manpower of a dimming brush, but it detangles so much easier. And I think it has a lot to do with the like bristles being able to separate. All right. So I think we got some good stretch there. Like that's what my hair looks like when it's blow dry. So I just wanted to show you guys that I decided to add some moisture and we're going to go ahead and we're going to finish this thing off. All right, y'all, so these are my results. How it's looking, how it's looking, how it's looking, how it's looking, how it's looking. I think definitely it worked, in my opinion. Like, I know I could probably get more of a stretch stretch and like more like straight stretch, cause it's like a poofy stretch, but I can get more of a straight stretch if I had blow dried it, but I really wanted to see if I could do this without absolutely no heat. And honestly, I'm impressed because I thought it was gonna be like a big puff, puff, puff ball, like a matted puff ball, like a wet matted puff ball. You know how like you try to do a style, like a protective style. Well, my, my best example for this is when I used to do Bantu knots back when I was like first natural and I used to take them boys out and they was not dry and it, my hair would just be like a big puff mess. That's what I thought this was gonna look like. But actually like it's a puff but it's a dry puff and it's, it's definitely stretched. Like if I put my hair down, it's still like there. It's still in the, you know, in the realm of how long it would be if it was like straight and like flat iron. So I'm good with that. Come on, puff. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. So let me know if this was helpful for you guys. If you're trying to do like no heat, I know a lot of people have been reaching out to me on social media, like give me some tips. I'm trying to go heat list through this quarantine time. So let me know if this was helpful. Um, let me know if you guys tried this. Shoot me the results on my social media so I can see, you know, if you have questions, let me know. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.